in there and cut it out manually. We, we get the thing out, we go like, no, no, that's it, no, that's it. And we have to take them out in order to get accurate data. Technology is wonderful, we automatically put a clip in so you've got really good data going on here. If you're stuck up into 40 hertz and above, you're manic. I mean, these are the people that, remember, we get to 41 hertz, you start to get into muscle activity. Have you ever had a twitcher in? They can't sit still? Man, they're, they're so high in beta, their muscle activity is now out of control. You take the guys that are on speed, you know, and they call them twitchers, because they can't, they're, they're so wound up that they can't sit still. They're just going crazy. So, 20, so 25 hertz, am I gonna do it to you? It's a small world after all, it's a small world after all. Now, how many are gonna be singing that for the next hour? <laughs> That's a ruminating thought, then you get stuck in a wave pattern. So if you find something you keep repeating and repeating in your head, you know that you're stuck. You need to do something different with that brain. Change your breathing pattern, do something to, to break it loose. Awake and alert, alert response, fight flight. Normally mental, normal uh, mental activities are normally associated with beta or awareness state. So we can experience what's going on. It's a critical state so that we can stay alive. It's saying I need to be paying attention to what's going on around me. I need to know what's happening for my own safety. That's why we have this. And it keeps us at this conscious level of 5% of your brain function to stay awake and alert. Produces adrenaline and cortisol. Important. Those are important. Just because it's not overdone or underdone. There are many extra external chemicals can be introduced. The brain produces this state. Stimulants, caffeine, coffee, tea, and amphetamines. <coughs> so beta challenges. What happens if we have beta challenges? Well, epileptic auras. I told you about it, uh, Bruce. Cortical irritability, hypervigilance, overthinking, ruminations, obsessive compulsive disorders. Okay. Left side, depression, right side, anxiety, anxiety disorders, <coughs> obsessive compulsive disorders. I had to put it in twice. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep disorders, bruxism, what's that? Right. Yeah, so, you know, this is what we, when we see this stuff, we automatically know that somebody's got some challenges going on at the cortical level where they're stuck in the beta patterns. Okay? And again, primal scream, I think, is absolutely a prime example of somebody stuck in, in high beta. And I love this. Getting PTSD at work makes work a war zone. I gotta tell you about. Dr. Barry's office. Dr. Barry is, doesn't have, well, she has a staff. It's her. I'd fire the staff if I was her. But the doctor that works in that office is phenomenal. And the happiest person in that office is Dr. Barry. And it's a joy to be in that office because she's having a ball when she's in there. How many of you can say you have a great time in that office? I mean, she literally bops around in the office and has a great time with it. And I just wonder how many of you enjoy the best practice years of my life. It was fun being in that office. I didn't have to listen to people whining all the time. Or there's no World War II stories. I had people coming in because they were coming in to make sure that their nervous system worked better, the brain was working better. And it was a joy. It was fun to be down there. Okay? Now for the interpretation guide. 